another year, another color changing BMW, but this one's uh, different, right? This one's different. This one's not just black and white, it's full color. And uh, you can also interact with a car, as we've learned. You could theoretically interact with it. I mean, we've got it going with an app, but what uh, we love different use cases with sensors, like you walk past the car and then it you know, knows your, the color of your clothes and then adjusts and makes the same color. So there's lots of uh, interactive use cases you could come up with, but for now we've got it on a loop. What changed uh, since last year? It's still e-ink. It still has all the advantages of e-ink and buy stability, extremely low energy, no energy to hold the color. That's still there, but the middle color changing layer is now color. What are the use case scenarios for this type of car? We love the functional use case, the information use cases like if you're driving and for safety, uh, if a potential collision occurs, then the entire car flashes. It's, uh, and then you see it clearly, so it could enhance safety. Displaying information, you know, that's still interesting. Battery status, uh, any kind of status on the exterior, welcoming information. But I think most people really just like to express themselves with their car. And that's why, especially here, we've kind of gone for typical use cases that people like, like the racing stripes, like a, a rainbow, or just typical um, cool effects. Did you get any concerns from uh, the police about changing a car's color? Yeah, we loved all those comments about it and we, we had some fun with that. Uh, we were in Italy showing the car, we took a photo with the Italian police there. We think it's funny. Where do you think a uh, consumer will be able to use or like even to buy a uh, color changing car? When is the uh, date of the arrival of this product? Well, I guess it depends on exactly, you know, what level of, uh, you know, integration it is. I mean, full body is, of course, really out there. You don't have to do full body. You can reduce yourself to certain areas. So I guess it depends on exactly what you're thinking of. If it's, you know, bicolor, multicolor, and there's a different spectrum that's available there. Clearly, it's a concept. I'm not going to lie about that. And we're here to see, does the world like this? Is this a cool thing? And if it is, then we'd drive it further. And, of course, the entire automotive requirements uh, that, has to be, that has to be answered, that's engineering. Yeah, but I, I think you get this question a lot. When will BMW have any part of the car color changing in its offer? Yeah, as you can see, I'm dancing around the question. I cannot name you a, I cannot name you a year. Um, I would say, uh, yeah, give us some time to bring in the robustness and define the use case. But it's certainly um, further off. So it would not be 2025 as, as with other topics here, but beyond that, yeah. But it is still something that will come to the market. I definitely think so. Obviously, it's the future is never certain, but I certainly see it there. Uh, you tell me why this shouldn't go to a market, yeah. if the demand is there. Yeah, the demand is definitely there. Yeah, well, let's see. Well, then, then, then we engineers have then a job to do to get this uh, up to scratch. But uh, I don't see any no-go there. I see some nice challenges. Thank you so much. Very welcome.